I hope you're well. It's the 30th of January and I am just on my way to work. So I got a an ASOS delivery today, which I was really excited about, and then I tried it on. I got a dress, I'll link it below, that I didn't like, <laughs> um, and some shoes, which I was hoping wouldn't look cheap, because they were very cheap, but they did look... They actually seemed to be made okay, but they just had a cheap vibe to them. Um, so I have got them in my bag already, ready to return. Um, so, why oh, food in my teeth? Gross. Um, <laughs> real life. I slept in this morning because I stayed up late last night. So, when I say I slept in, I last night set my alarm for later than normal. So, may. <laughs> There was a guy coasting down the road, looking behind him the whole time. Oh, I was gonna crash into him. Um. Anyway, <laughs> so distracted. Sorry. So I set my alarm for 7 a.m. because I knew that I wouldn't be getting enough sleep. And as I've spoken about before, if I go to bed late, that's what I like to do instead of setting my alarm and hoping for the best, knowing in my mind that I'm not actually gonna be. I'm not really intending to wake up at that time so I did that and I had to manage my mind around like already being an hour behind and that there is actually no behind and there just is what there is and there's plenty of time so I did that quite well I went to the gym still and even though there was really bad traffic because I was going quite a bit later than normal um, I made it I didn't turn around I nearly did but I kept going and I did my workout and I'm up to week six of um, Kayla's sweat app. I'm doing the power PWR workout that Kelsey Wells has created and I'm really loving it. So I did that and then did self coaching scholars which I went into full detail about yesterday. Like when I say I did self coaching scholars what I mean. So if you haven't seen that I'll link it. And I meditated and I also my mind was like I don't have time for meditation and I was like come on 10 minutes you definitely have time so I did that and then I basically spent the whole day putting together my sales page for your perfect semester so I'd already written it and I was really just doing all the formatting and there was something I was gonna talk about but now I can't actually remember I was like oh that'd be good to talk about today um not sure actually what that was but oh yeah that's what it was so the reason I was up late was because Steve did a um an, a late shift a late paramedic shift last night so he was meant to finish at 11 but he finished late so he, I think in the end he got home at like 1am which I couldn't stay up but I was trying to stay up and I was reading um, Tribe of Mentors by Tim Ferriss and if you've been following me for a while you probably know that I loved Tools of Titans, Tim Ferriss's previous book and I got Tribe of Mentors for Christmas and I haven't really taken the time yet to sit down and read it so last night when Steve was out I was just thinking like you know this is gonna be the perfect time and actually before that I wanted to paint my nails um, which is very hard to do when you're reading because I like to highlight and tab and everything so I watched this show on Hey You which is like Netflix for reality TV called Million Dollar Decorators I think it's quite old like it's a few years old but um, I'm really into interior design at the moment and I had been watching Million Dollar Listings but this is even better because it's specifically about the decorating um, and I love looking at beautiful houses and Steve and I always go, whenever we have brunch we go to really um, affluent neighbourhoods and drive around and look at all the houses and talk about what we want to have one day so um, yeah I love those shows so I watched that and then I read Tribe of Mentors for about two hours and I was just like so into it because what I really want to talk about is 
and I've spoken about this before but I just want to mention it again is like applying what you read so the reason I love tribe of mentors no but I do love that book tools of Thailand so much is because I really took the time to apply it and it's a bit different so I've spoken before I'll link a video where I actually think I go through what I did with tools of Thailand but I highlight but more so the bit that makes it much more easy to apply is I have different tabs for different things and one of those tabs is for journaling exercises or just different they're not like explicit exercises in the book necessarily but they're really just questions or statements that I want to have a think about so I when I was doing tools of titans I was going through and tabbing that tabbing quotes I loved tabbing to do's like things to look into and tabbing book recommendations which is just such a better like especially that style of book that it is which is like different um, profiles like short interviews with people it's um, really amazing to do that it's a bit harder to do in other books that are a different style but for this kind of book it's amazing and it can be adapted so um, yeah just I just was so into it and I was like reading till my eyes were stinging and just learning so much and I really realized when I was doing it that I really miss reading and just it's just different to like sitting in front of a screen or scrolling just like you have to use your brain a lot more and your imagination and um, I already found so many good different questions that I want to do some journaling on and apply it. So what I like to do, um, like when I did Tools of Titans, was I read, I think I was re reading for an hour, but within that hour I read for half an hour and then did the journaling exercises or like did things to apply it for half an hour, so it was like 50-50. So I haven't got a set time that I'm like reading this book um I am going to be carving out some time but I really want to make sure again it's like 50 50 or I'm definitely applying everything because when I first picked up tribe of mentors to look at and I've kind of been skimming through little bits here and there before bed um and I just really realized that without I didn't have any highlighter any tabs anything you can like feel inspired but it's just really hard to apply it and really hard to take things away from it but I just find personally when I'm highlighting and tabbing and it's totally different to doing it at uni when I study things I wasn't really interested in um, or doing it for an exam like when I'm doing this and I also was writing notes in the um, in the margins and I highlight like on the first page I wrote January 2018 and highlighted it yellow because when I go back to read it again I'll highlight in a different color and I'm already planning to reread Tools of Titans and I'm also really just interested to see which things stood out to me like a year and a few months ago that like I was in it I hadn't quit my job yet I had barely even planned to quit my full-time job and I was just at a different stage of the journey so I'm really interested to see what like I'm sure I will take away different things from the book than I did that time so I'm really keen to do that and um, I also want to start listening to some audiobooks again but I'm just making sure like I'm not consuming too much I don't want to just have a million ideas thrown at me but there are some really good books recommended in um, Tribe of Mentors that I've heard about a lot of times and haven't actually read or books that Brooke Castillo recommends um, in her podcast so I think I'm just going to go with those two places and um, yeah get some books because I've just been listening to the Life Coach School podcast, basically 24-7, or Harry Potter. I nearly finished Harry Potter 4. Um, I've been trying to put my finger on why it's my least favourite, but this last one, I'm like, I 
think it's just because it's not the normal school year and I love the just the normal school year but it's not it's actually like I did I do like the book I'm always my mind like oh Harry Potter 4 is the worst of them but it's still pretty good so um, and I've forgotten how it ended like exactly how it ended so um, yeah I think I'm excited to listen to, I should be finished it by the time I get home tonight I'm hoping um, and starting on Harry Potter 5 um, so yeah that's basically all I've been up to in the last little bit and I'm just getting back into the rhythm of sticking to my plan and I think that this has been really helpful as well with my course your perfect semester because I made a plan for three months followed it perfectly for about a month and then like it's it's quite easy in the scheme of things to plan the first month than it is to plan the third month because you're like well I have no idea what I'll be doing and in the last week I've had a change in plans and it's just been interesting to experience it and to go about adapting my plan and to get back into the rhythm of it and the reason it's helpful for my course is because that's what I'm teaching people to do and I think that having going through this experience um it's not like oh just do this and your life will be perfect forever but it really is a skill that is learned how to stick to how to create a really um, good plan and then how to stick to the plan so I'm still kind of getting back into the rhythm today is the second day being back on into my plan so I'm just doing my best and being kind to myself but not letting myself get away with things I think there's like a fine line when people like you know you hear like be kind to yourself but then you think yeah but then if I'm kind to myself I just say don't worry honey like just rest but if you're being kind to yourself if and really think about it like it's it's like it's not kind to allow yourself to procrastinate and self-sabotage and do all of that stuff and it's about being kind but also having integrity honoring my word to myself and um yeah just improving my planning skills improving my follow-through skills all of that it can all be improved it's not something that's like you're either good at it or you're not even though people do talk about it that way I really don't think it is and I'm still learning how to do it um I've gotten fairly good at it, but I still, like, I know that in a year I'm going to be much better at it, so I'm really excited to share it in my course and, yeah, to keep learning myself and to share all that with you guys, but anyway, I'm going to leave it here so I can listen to the rest of HP4 and, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, actually, I won't see you. I wish I could, but... I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.